Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting Case 69 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case demonstrating a potential complication of CTO-PCI. The patient presented with cardiomyopathy and was referred for diagnostic angiography that showed single vessel disease with osteal occlusion of the left anterior descending artery. There was no significant disease in the circumflex, giving a large obtuse marginal branch and a smaller distal circumflex. The LAD was feeling retrograde by collaterals from the right coronary artery. There were several septal collaterals supplying the vessel. The patient was referred for an attempt of CTO-PCI of the left anterior descending artery, given that he had a single vessel disease. Dual injection was performed. We can now see better that the LAD is a large caliber vessel. There is a bifurcation at the distal cap, bifurcation of diagonal and the LAD. It is still hard to determine where the ostium of the LAD is, so there remains a proximal cap ambiguity, and that persists even after doing a caudal view. It is still unclear whether the takeoff of the LAD is more proximal or more distal. The patient was stable with good hemodynamics on the beginning of the case. Because of the ambiguity, we decided to do a primary retrograde approach. Therefore, we advanced um, um, a retrograde wire from a septal collateral all the way to the left anterior descending artery. The wire, unfortunately, wanted to go distally to the LAD. However, we were able to advance the turnpike close to the LAD and then uh, try to wire retrograde. However, we're having a lot of difficulty doing that. And in the process, we decided to try um, some undergrade wires using the retrograde wire as a marker to resolve the ambiguity. However, the patient who was stable shortly thereafter developed uh, uh, chest discomfort and hypotension. You can see the pressure is down to 60 with barely any pulsation. And the explanation for this is shown here there was a dissection into the circumflex causing severe ischemia given that the LAD was occluded. Fortunately, we had a safety wire into the circumflex from before starting the case, and we were able to place uh, a stent very promptly into the circumflex that restored um, undergrade flow and helped stabilize the patient. The patient received uh, some uh, vasopressors and during that, there was um, some changes in the right coronary artery, making us wonder whether he had caused some injury during the retrograde wire attempts. However, after administration of a small dose of nitroglycerin, there was just a, a resolution of the spasm. It was all spasm causing the diffuse right coronary disease. The he, the patient did have a good flow. There was still some dissection, required placement of an additional stent. But uh, the patient did have an uneventful recovery. Of course, we aborted the procedure after this event. And the patient is going to return uh, later on for another attempt versus consider coronary bypass craft surgery. So in summary, a closure of a donor vessel can be a lethal event in patients with CTOs because it makes for a large area of ischemia. And therefore, a way to protect against this is to have a safety wire into that vessel. So in case a complication occurs, as in this case where dissection happened, one can very promptly stent the donor vessel and prevent uh, an acute hemodynamic compromise. Thank you.